All right, we're going to continue on with this. We're just going to remove some of this paint here on the dash, some of this underneath, some of the sides down here. Maybe I'll clean up some of the inside. And I don't know what I'm going to put on that. I'm not going to paint it with automotive paint. It'll be too expensive. And it gets all covered with upholstery anyway. Then we've got to clean this up. Just from leaving this out for two nights outside. Look at the rust already on those areas. So I've got to get that all stripped off. Epoxy primed. So it will not rust so quickly. Because i got to work on something else for a little bit. So we'll continue on with this and we'll see what happens next. Well, got all this stuff osphoed up, and I got this stuff. I was going to show you what I used. I used this stuff here, the Super Clean. Actually, it is a really fast degreaser. It works really good for a lot of things. Sorry about the light coming in that back window. It's hard to see in here. I don't know if I can get you guys at the right angle to where it doesn't look right. Maybe I'll go back here. Yeah, and you can see it dissolves some of that carpet glue. And I just power washed this whole thing out. Then I osphoed everything. Or got that off camera. It's just too hard to film in here and get without getting the camera. It's totally soaking wet. So it does remove that glue. So if you've got that glue on there, some of that super clean, take that in a brush and it'll take it took about on the Carmagia took it all off. Um, on this thing, it took off about, uh, I don't know, 50%, 60% of it, something like that. I don't know. The glue, so that now it's nice and clean back there. Just need to do a little bit, maybe a little bit of sanding. That the rest of that will come off if I want to paint all that. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do on the inside. Definitely want to do something to protect this metal, keep it from rusting. It's pretty well protected right now there's not really any rust on it much it's just uh, dirt and some of that glue you know a little bit of rust over there in that little corner over there you can't really see it because the lighting isn't very good right now I get it maybe a different lens yeah there you go um, over there in the corner it's a little rusty yeah, that's it though and then the cut up piece over there that's cut right in the middle there and then in the corner. So when I get the panels, the replacement panels, then I'll cut that off on the outside and uh, straighten it out a bit and then put new panels on over there. But in the inside, it's just about ready. I'm going to go ahead and start finish sanding all this, finish sand it all, a little more filler a couple of places, and then prime it. And we'll get on with this mess back here. So get this all done. It's going to take a bit of work. Now that, I don't know, I was thinking about sandblasting it, but I don't know 
I'm not sure if I really want to deal with all the sand mess. It really makes a lot of mess doing that. And I have a pressure sandblaster right there. You can see that's a pressure sandblaster, which which if you haven't used one of those, they work way better than a regular one, but you go through a lot of sand. You really do. So you, you got to sweep it all up, strain it, put it back in, or you have to buy more sand. I don't know what's easier or cheaper. It ends up, to me, just buying a lot of sand and just doing it and sweep up what you can. You're going to lose a lot of it, but you end up with a lot of mess. So anyway, that's why I don't like to do it. prefer using them. Maybe I'll use a stripping wheel. I'll see what happens back here. We'll try some different things. Right, so off camera, I went ahead and there's a little wave here to fix that a little bit. Some welds down there. And they got the coat of the, the uh, surfacer on after the, I uh, put another coat of epoxy on the surfacer. Okay, got this done, the dash done underneath the dash. Okay, that looks pretty good. You won't be able to see anything down there. Shot some black on the wheels where the tires go because I want to make sure that that's sealed up so the tires when I put them on they hold air. These are on final prime here. There's a little gear part here that I got to finish. And I've got this thing stripped and prime, epoxy primer and uh, surfacer. The, gray, the dark gray is the surfacer, the light gray or kind of a white. This is the epoxy primer. This all got stripped, then sanded, and then I put a epoxy primer down, and then surfacer on that. All the way around here. Is this is all done here. Um, this isn't final, I don't think. You know, I don't know. I'm not going to say until I go over it, and then uh, I might 
put one more coat of primer on but you know definitely gonna put one more on most of this stuff maybe not well this I gotta do I still gotta do another primer on this so I got welds here that I'm gonna clean up you know where I welded up those holes and stuff I get that all cleaned up and make it look really good and then then I'll work on the other side get the other side finished remember the body at work is just roughed in because when the panels are off the car it's just too hard to work with them I want to put them on then do the final work on them and then take them right back off again finish up this stuff you know whatever I'm gonna do here and then get it all ready and paint the ins you know get the outside all ready then get the inside ready and paint it and then the outside ready and paint it I like to do the insides before the outsides all right, well, we'll see what else we can get done. We got those doors sitting over there. Probably too late for some of you guys, but you never throw these away. You keep this wire with these little clips on it, and you put it in your new one because the ones that come on them are not shaped correctly, and you'll have all kinds of trouble trying to put them on. If these are any good, the little clips, you save it. And I put this in a few videos, but some guys.
All right, so this is one of the reasons I wanted to epoxy prime this car. So, see that right there? That was rusted. This has been repainted at some point. And this was rusted right through the first layer of paint and primer. This is the original factory paint right here. This gray was the original primer and then it just rusted right through it because it I don't know these these uh, strato silver cars uh, the whatever it is the old metallics they didn't they didn't seal very well so even if I treat all this I just want to make sure that it's not going to happen again for some reason I don't think it will but you know even with the epoxy primer just going if I clean this up and went right over that you know just did like this right here without using any treatment it'd probably be just fine but I just making sure I don't know if you guys caught it in the video but this citrus strip keeps going even when it's you know got paint in it so you just take it I just took it from one door and I transferred everything to use the same plastic then I'll just scoop this along and then I'll just put it over this part and I'll strip it again with the same stripper. It's not like the regular stripper where it dries. This stuff just stays wet for a long time. So it's kind of cool. I mean, that's good things about it. You can use it. You can probably get more out of it. You won't bang for your buck because you can use it twice or three times. It's a little slower, but you know, it does the job. I stopped using the stripping wheel because it was just too thick. And it was getting the panel real hot and I noticed it started to pop and stuff. I wouldn't want to keep doing that. So that's why I started using the stripping wheel. We're going to try, let's see if a wire brush does it. All right, I love it when people say lead filler lasts forever. Let's look at this real close here. That is lead right there. Lead filler. It's not actually lead. They they call it lead filler, but I think it's solder. You know, but they call it lead. And you can see cracks all through it. It's all over. It's got to come out. So, anyway, nothing lasts forever. <laughs> In fact, I bet you anything, if I use good plastic filler, it'll last longer than this lead did. That's just my thought. Alright, so you guys probably noticed it swells up when you heat it up. And that's the fun part about using, if you ever use a lead filler, that's what it does. It, it swells up the panel, you put all the stuff on, and then it goes back down, and you play with it and play with it until you finally get it all on there, and then you, and you actually file it with a file then you sand it and then and on something with no support like this you, you think filler's hard to sand that stuff's like it doesn't sand at all and you but you sand it and then you 
prime it. A lot of guys used to load up their primer real thick because they used the old lacquer primer. Load it up real thick and then they finish it out with primer. So it fails. It doesn't last forever. Just like everything. When I tell people that, have the video on, nothing lasts forever. <laughs> it doesn't. You can you try and get it to last for a while or whatever. That's why some guys are doing metal finishing now because they go, well, that'll last forever. Then they get in a car wreck. Well, it didn't last forever, did it? Yeah, that happens too because it's a car. You're driving it. Unfortunately, that's just what happens. All right, well, if the other one wasn't clear to you that lead cracks, here's another spot. Those are cracks. You see that? Big one right there. It's not a scratch. That's a crack. So, old believers in lead filler being permanent. Myth is busted. <laughs> it's been busted a long time for me. I've known this for years, that's why I don't use it. Uh, it's a real pain in the butt to put in, to put down, and in my opinion, it's not worth it. And doing a metal finish job, I mean, who are you doing it for? You or the next life? You know, who's to say that the next person who owns the car treats it the same way you do after you're dead and gone? And you did it for them? Okay, just checking. Well, I gotta tell you guys, it's been slow going taking these, stripping these doors. I'm just doing a, then I'm gonna take this. Once I'm done, then I'm going to start stripping some of that with it. Get that thing started. Just these, uh, it's not the stripping of the doors, actually. I'm talking about the, this part of it. Getting that, removing this, this, uh, lead off of here took a lot of time. And I got more of it up here. So got lead right there, there. All that stuff's gonna take me a lot of time to do, and I bet you anything. This is the side that was wrecked. Oh yeah, there's lead all over on this thing. Could take me a while to get all that out of there. So anyway, I think we're gonna have to call it good. I was gonna try and get this. Uh, Stripped off for you guys here and prime these doors, but look, they're gonna need a lot of work. It's kind of cool. I mean, I've done both of these doors with the same citrus strip, and I mean, it's like that's the original primer down there. I think right there, yeah, that's metal. So yeah, it uh, took off a lot of layers. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. I mean, I like it because it just, it's a little hard on your fingers. You probably should have gloves on, like I said, on my other video on it. But it's not really toxic, really. It's a lot easier to deal with. I just don't want to keep putting on gloves, taking them back off, and I got nitrile gloves sitting there. Just taking them on. I have big hands. It's just none of them fit me. It's like I wear a size 8 helmet. Try and find a size 8 hat. You know, trying to find a bicycle helmet for myself. And 
None of them fit. Anyway. So we're size 7 and 7 8. So sometimes it's 8. Either when I'm looking for a helmet, I can find a ton of them because nobody wanted them. Nobody has that size. Or I find, you know, none. Nobody has it and they just don't have the size. Or like, you know, sometimes they'll have a clearance thing where they're getting rid of them. And they'll be like two in my size and none of the regular sizes everybody else wants. It's always cool when it's like that, but a lot of times they just don't have them at all. And they make it in that size, so. Anyway, I guess I'll just move some of this over here, huh? Just gets a little thicker. Still does it. It comes more like that paste stuff they sell. It's kind of cool. Put that on there for about 30 minutes or an hour. That'll all be raw. Love that plastic on it. But you do have to kind of scrape off the paint, which is a bummer. I like how the other stuff just lifts it off. The other stripper. Anyway, I got something else I'll show you. It's working on this thing because that branch broke. I was gonna start doing some of my tree trim before I got to it that thing broke but check this out I had the battery on the charger da boom look at that <laughs> uh, yeah whenever you're working on batteries it's always a good idea to wear safety glasses I've seen a bunch of them do this I mean I've seen a few this one here the whole side of it blew out luckily it wasn't while I was there but luckily it didn't catch fire too might have been pretty pretty bad right here because uh, it was in the middle of the night I had it on the charger on a slow charge so I sprayed it all down with baking soda it blew up right here you can see it got all over the hood I sprayed it all down with the baking soda and then I rinsed everything off really good with the power washer and soap I don't know if it if it's gonna keep going you know that acid just does a number on stuff so I don't know hopefully it's neutralized well enough anyway we should have these doors stripped here pretty soon it was getting dark right now and I really wanted to paint these rims uh, so in the next video I definitely will do it I'll paint these I want to see how close the color is that I got because I don't really know so I got some white I'll just try the white that I have and then for the center disc and then the outside I'll paint with the strato silver and see if it looks cool I mean like if uh, the color looks right for the strato silver I got I was just curious I didn't know so anyway I'll talk to you in the next one please like share and subscribe check out the old window move on with some more videos